to the Real Estate Stew with the What's Cooking Crew. I'm Patrick. And I am Keisha. Hey, Keisha. My, you know, I know it's a little cool outside, but wow, you're certainly looking nice Thank today you. there, young lady. We wow. are in Houston, and in Houston, Texas, we get one, maybe two days of cold That's weather. It. And That's when it. those days come around, I have to whip out my best. Because I only get a chance to wear them once a week. Well, you know, I just, my <laughs> wife, I have to admit, guys, you got, whenever y'all see the videos and you're like, oh, what in the world is Patrick wearing today? That means I dress myself. But <laughs> other than, okay, so y'all get it. So I, I love these days because I'm like, I get surprised, but what does my wife have? Okay, <laughs> what am I wearing right, today? Yes. So Keisha, questions. Yes. You know, we're always getting great questions from you guys. So let's look and see what we got today. How and thank you so much for your great questions. Let me. We have a viewer who wants to know, is it possible for someone with a 590 credit score to buy a home? Oh, 590. Okay. So Excellent question. That question is very specific. So a 590 credit score. I, I, I guess I want to say, I'm assuming that the question was sent our way because the belief is a 590 credit score is considered relatively low. And because a 590 credit score is considered relatively low, this particular buyer feels like they don't have the options so, that so, they need. So here's what I would say, because I get that question a lot. So guys, understand when it comes to credit scoring, mm -hmm. uh, the lenders have, there's what you call FHA, uh, conventional, mm -hmm. VA, your loan programs, and there's standard guidelines across the board for all lenders with these different programs, right? Right. But lenders can layer those guidelines. Right. You know, so for instance, FHA, mm -hmm. typically the standard guideline is, hey, we want a, very, a minimum credit score of 580. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. But a lender could come along and say, hey, no problem, but if I'm going to loan you money, my money, ah, I want a 600. Absolutely. So for all, but now they have to be fair. We can't discriminate. So if you say 600 is what the score needs to be, then it's going to be 600 FHA for all applicants across the board. Across the board. Absolutely. So back to the point here with the question. So if we're thinking just score like the bottom line, you know, Mr. King, Keisha, will, will a 590 work? Well, guys, there are lenders that I know, Keisha, have gone as low as 580 for mm -hmm. most lenders. So you can actually get approved guys for a loan with a 580. Now, there may be uh, some compensating factors and you know other things that you'll need to have in line with that loan in order for it to work out with the lower scores. But yes, you can. Now also, if you're a veteran, VA, I've had veterans get approved even below the 580. Yes, so, the VA does not have a minimum credit score there requirement. There you go. Did y'all hear that? Okay, important to know. So veterans, excellent. You don't need to worry about that 580. Yeah. You can go even lower. We definitely recommend you uh, you know, reach out to some lenders that are very familiar with VA programs like USAA. I guess I can plug do that, right? Because they're great Looks lenders. Looks like you so, did. Yeah. Okay, I did. USAA. <laughs> and there's plenty. Navy, federal, et cetera, et cetera. But back to the score. So 5, 590, I would say think 580 low across the board unless you're veteran and most lenders I've seen 600 I've seen 500 okay okay <laughs> 620 640 but guys on a serious note if you came to me and said Patrick what do you recommend where do you think we really need to be I'm going to tell you that a good target score would be about 620 most people with a 620 I see with lenders all day long we see maximize those your options maximize with great great interest rates, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So you want good terms. If you're going to purchase, I want to see you with some good terms. So I would say target 620. Uh, if you get a 640, even better. But I have seen some 600s, but normally about 620, 640. But yes, short answer to the question is a 590 would work. That was the short answer. Yes. So. <laughs> okay, Keisha, we're going to talk. No. It's... So the one thing that I will add to that short answer is when you as a buyer are evaluating your own credit score because oftentimes we find the buyers will come to us and they will say i have a 590 credit score and they're basing that on something that they pulled themselves uh, keep in mind that lenders look at not one credit score but three and they will base their lending decisions on the median credit score what is the median credit score the median credit score is the one that falls in the middle when you line the scores up numerically so in numerical order the one that's in the middle at that point they don't average them they don't take the highest they don't take the lowest they now, take Ke the one Keisha, you know i'm listening to you you know people are visual so okay. they're like numerical order you line them up so Example, give me an example. Five, six, seven, right, Keisha? Yes. Five, six, seven. Six so is in the middle. Six is in the middle. So 500 is the low is out, 700 is the high is out, 
The one that's left, 600, that's your median score. Right? Absolutely, that's, okay. absolutely. Just, just so you want to just make sure that you're, you're, you're evaluating the right credit and also keep in mind that the score that you see as a borrower, if you're pulling from some of the secondary sites, may differ from what the lender sees. So just make sure that before you make a decision regarding whether or not you can buy based on a credit score that you've seen on your own, get that validated with your mortgage company. Yeah, very important. Did we forget anything? Uh, Keisha, I think you covered everything. I in, did. In, in your short <laughs> response. <laughs> no. I did. So we always want to thank you all for sending in your questions. We want to remind you to send additional questions to questions at whatscookingcrew.com. And don't forget, guys, we want you to like us. Subscribe. And comment, guys. Yes. Yay. Also, look at shout out to Perry Homes. We are in one of their lovely models here in the South Lake community. We always want to thank our, our uh, sponsors, our model home sponsors that allow us to come and invade their spaces for a day. So thank you guys. Y'all have a great week. See you next time, guys.